Welcome to Improve It, the podcast. Hello, friends. Welcome to the Improve It podcast live. I'm so excited for today's guest. We are going to be talking all about how you can use laughter and improv for your next virtual holiday party. Our friend is here, the one, the only Andy Junk. Come on in. Here I am. Junk. Oh my gosh. I am so excited to see you. I've it's seen always you. It's a pleasure to see you too. How are you doing? Uh, live in dreams. Live in dreams. How are you doing, friend? I'm great. I'm doing great. Yeah. It's been like a couple of weeks since I've seen you in, in real life. I know, um, which is a rare occurrence in these days, but it's it's always a pleasure to see you in real life. No, it's always fun. And I'm so excited you're here because this is, we're on Instagram Live. This is the Improve It podcast. We're doing a double whammy. We've got friends joining us. We've got an audience joining us. So Andy Junk, I had to have you on this show because I think you're real funny. Okay. Uh, and all the Improve It team is super funny, but I wanted to have you on because we are talking about using improv or laughter in your virtual holiday party. So before we get started, tell everybody who you are and what you do here at Improve It. Sure. Uh, well, my name is Andy Junk, as you said so perfectly. Uh, the pronunciation was on point. Uh, yeah, and I'm an actor and improviser in Chicago, and I also work with Improve It as a uh, co-facilitator. So I, I help uh, when we when we have uh, different activities with uh, corporate uh, clients. I will be there and help uh, you know engage the people there as well as uh, I perform on the laugh breaks with with the crew there as well, which is great. It's so fun. And you improve it and improve it. There's lots of improvement and improve it. And we are just, you have been just a shining light this year. And I think for all of us, laugh. So let's stop there. Tell everybody in your words, what is a laugh break? Sure. So, uh, you know, we're all on Zoom a lot these days. A lot of uh, uh, corporate entities have, have spread themselves out over the United States of America and beyond. And uh, on these Zoom meetings, a laugh break is sort of an opportunity to plug in a little uh, joy and level levity into what could be a very boring corporate meeting uh, where us and the crew will show up and do, you know, between 15 and 25 minutes of improv for you and, and hopefully just create some laughter and some positive vibes for the rest of the day. That's it. That's it. And I have to say this too, um, Andy, you're always one of those people. I always say your first and last name. So you're always Andy Junk. So I just said, Andy, it felt weird for me. I tried it. It didn't <laughs> feel right. Um, but you have just been with us since almost the very first laugh break. And we've just been able to shed this laughter, levity, positivity to so many teams over the course of this pandemic. We're still in it. So, oh, yeah. you know. Where we are still doing them uh, weekly, monthly. So, how? Let me ask you this: Why do you think laughter and doing something like virtual improv for your team is needed right now? Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, you'd be hard pressed to find some in the, in our divided country. It feels like one thing that we all agree on is that things are tough <laughs> right yeah. now. Yeah, and. Uh, it's nice to have laughter because laughter is like this unifying force and, uh, and, 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 and the act of laughter and the act of, you know, it's like you smile and you actually release endorphins. You actually do feel better when you're laughing. Yeah. And so I think that when you have an opportunity to, you know, reward your team or like help coalesce your team by injecting some laughter, uh, you know, through improv or in other means, but I mean, laugh breaks are what we're hoping people do <laughs> but, uh, yeah yeah if you have an opportunity to do that it's 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 like a it's a reward but it also helps build the team together which i think is really nice yeah so how have you seen people really come together through laughter through virtual improv because i will tell you this for free in the beginning of 2020 if anybody would have ever told me we would be doing short form improv over zoom I would have been like, what? Yeah. And that you could book us almost like an Uber 48 hours in advance to come on your Zoom meeting. I would have never thought possible what we're actually doing today. And I actually love it because I sit at home in my yoga pants and sometimes no shoes, sometimes my bedroom slipper. And we get <laughs> to make people laugh every day at work 
So how have you seen what we do using laughter and improv really bring teams together, connect them virtually? What are some of the things that you've witnessed? Yeah, well, you know, I think I think uh, anything that breaks up the monotony of a day, especially yeah. when we find ourselves again sort of stuck at home a lot, or you know, we're sneaking out a little bit here and there, but the, the days can kind of blend into each other. And so I've I've seen that just having a, a laugh break in the middle of a meeting or a, a sort of an unexpected joy again, you can do it like last minute, like an Uber. It's a nice way to kind of mark that day as special. It's a nice way to 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 re engage yourself and like, you know, turn off autopilot and get back into it. And I've seen that with the people because, uh, you know, people chat during yeah. our, our laugh breaks because, you know, obviously we can't have everybody unmuted and cracking up hysterically at all of our hilarious jokes. But uh, we will see uh, chats and people engaging that way, which is really nice. And it feels like it could, there, there's a whole conversation that's happening in the chat window between the because people get inspired and they, they see us cracking wise and they want to ha have fun and, and make jokes too and, and like you see there's like sort of two performances happening like us uh on the zoom and then the, the chat window is so great and you get to see maybe somebody you didn't realize was so hilarious uh making a joke that makes you laugh out loud which is so fun and it's nice to kind of uh, I i've seen just teams suddenly see each other as like sort of three-dimensional beings as opposed to just again literally two-dimensional on a zoom screen yeah. Oh, I love that. And the chat, you're so right, because we use it for virtual laughter. We use it for suggestions. Spoiler alert, if you're here on the live today, we're going to come to you in a minute for some suggestions. Um, but it is such a really cool and unique thing. And I think that, in my opinion, I want your opinion on this. What I've seen and noticed is it's, def it's definitely different improvising to a virtual audience. And somebody just said, Andy Junk is such a beautiful human being. And I agree with you, James oh. Allen likes music. He is such a beautiful human <laughs> being. But it's it's just so interesting to watch people who don't typically speak up when they're in a room of people. So in mm -hmm. person, really come alive in the chat box because they have that extra layer of the computer screen. They're able to type. They're able to connect. And that's been really interesting to watch, too, because... A lot of times, I think when we see team dynamics, people who are usually the more outspoken people get to talk more. And so mm -hmm. you're seeing the the one beautiful silver lining, in my opinion, is being able to see everybody connect and use that chat function as a way to laugh and to share positivity and connection. What do you think about that? Do you agree that that's oh, happened today? I mean, absolutely. And I think, you know, to your point, uh, if you think about sort of like, uh, going from being like the sort of shy, introverted person to the person presenting at a meeting is a pretty large jump. And I feel like even like that chat window or that engagement uh, creates a little step for them to to make that not quite a, the gulf that they thought yeah. it was. And then so suddenly, you you know, and, and, and we do workshops as well in person and virtually. And that's like another step, too. And then there's like ways to sort of uh, soften the, the learning curve from being a, 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 an introvert to a, a, a presenter or a contributor that, that uh, helps in meetings. That's it. That's it. Okay. So I want to share a little bit of what laugh breaks feel like. So this is, oh. this is where it, you got this. Okay. I'm <laughs> going to nail it. So no pressure. It's mostly going to be you. No, I'm just kidding. So normally I host these. I'm going to jump in with you. We're going to do a couple. This is called 185. So this is something we do at the end of a laugh break just to kind of show some fun punny jokes. And we have a lot more games on top of this, but this is a tried and true improv game that we love to play. So we come to you in the chat. We ask you for suggestions. So everybody joining us on this live today, we're going to need your suggestions in this live uh, IG right now. IG, whatever this is. I'm an, I'm a filth fluencer. IG TV, <laughs> Instagram live, whatever this is. Okay, so... Give us a suggestion of your favorite work from home snack. Your favorite work from home snack. Put it in the chat. As we're waiting on some chats to come in, we're just going to kind of set this up. So this is a line game. Normally in a laugh break, we have up to four players. We have a host and three improvisers. And so anybody can jump in at this point. We've got the entire team watching us on Zoom and they're all on video muted. And we are literally asking them for suggestions in the chat box. We're asking for laughs in the chat box. This is the last thing we do. And it really does help set that tone. Oh, thank you. We have a suggestion. Okay. This is from Fallon. Thank you, Fallon Boland. We're going to go with 185 popcorns. You'll see how this works in just a minute. Either one of us can start. We'll go for just a few and I'll call it Andy. Here we go. 
All right. Uh, okay. 185 popcorns walk into a bar. Uh, the bartender says, we don't serve popcorn here. And they say, well, what if I butter you up first? Oh, okay. And if you like what's <laughs> happening, give him some love in the chat. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to rip. 185 popcorns walk into a bar. And bartender says, we don't serve that. You, 100 popcorns here. And the popcorn says, well, I thought this bar was popping. <laughs> okay, oh. keep, going. keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep All going. Right. Uh, 185 uh, popcorns walk into a bar. Uh, bartender says, we don't serve popcorns here. And the uh, bartender says, uh, or no, sorry, then the popcorn says, well, uh, if uh, if you won't serve us popcorn here, or no, if you won't serve us cocktails here, then I'll have to go to uh, a different place. Or, vil- oh, man. <laughs> You had it. You had it. You had it. Okay, I got you. Yeah, got you. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, you were going to Orville. I got you, really Orville. I got you, Orville. I got you, Orville. Okay. Uh, 185 popcorns. Specialty popcorns walk into a bar. Bartender says, oh, we don't serve your kind here. And those specialty popcorns look at the bartender and they say, what? Every day I'm truffling. Dun, 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 oh. dun. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it. I have thrown a dance move. You can't see it on the podcast. All right. Okay, uh, all right I okay. 185 okay. popcorns walk into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve popcorn here. Popcorn says, well, then can I at least get some salt around the rim? What? Okay. 185 mm-hmm. gummy worms. Let's change it up. 185 gummy worms. Oh, okay. 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 Um, um, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh, uh, 185 gummy worms. I'm just going to go. Walk into a bar. Uh, bartender says, we don't serve uh, gummy worms here. And gummy worms look at the bartender and says, that's very gummy. <laughs> so bad. So bad. So bad. So bad. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, uh, 100, 185 uh, gummy worms walk into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve gummy worms here. They say, well, come on, just give me one Pisco sour. What? Okay. Um, let's Okay. 185 gummy worms walk into a bar bartender says we don't serve your kind and the gummy worms say oh that's sour patch kid (laughs) (laughs) okay all right nailed it all right so this is you can tell we get each other's back one of us struggling we pick a new suggestion but it's just so fun because we incorporate the suggestion of the audience andy did you have fun I have a great time. Anytime I'm with you, I have a fun time. Anytime Me I'm doing too. Oh, uh, I know. And we, it's so fun because our team gets to play. And for a very long time, there was no stage for us to play on. So Zoom was our stage and still is our stage. And if you have a laugh break, if you're listening today or you're watching or you have a, if you have a laugh break, if you have a virtual holiday party and you're looking for something different, we did so many of these last year. We worked, we have worked with teams like Warby Parker, Pfizer, Paylocity. And the list goes on, but we launched this in August of 2020. Fun fact, we have done over 92 of them today since August of 2020. So yeah, fun facts here. So yeah, we want to just share with anybody listening, you can book a laugh break. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes for your next holiday party. And for anybody listening today who wants discounted tickets to our upcoming Laugh Break Live, you can see us all in action on November 16th. You can check it out. It's going to be a promo code for you. We'll have the link at the post here and in the show notes on the podcast. But the promo code is laugh with us. And that'll get you discounted tickets on November 16th for Laugh Break Live. Andy Junk, thank you so much for joining me today on this Laugh Break Live slash podcast slash all the things. Aaron Deal, thank you for having me. It's been a true pleasure seeing you as all. Oh, gosh. All right. And for everybody listening, keep failing, keep improving because the world needs that special it that only you can bring. Thanks everybody for joining us. Andy Junk is adorable. And the, uh, everybody love loves Andy Junk. <laughs> Everyone loves Andy Junk. All right. Have a good one. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. 
Hey friends, thanks for tuning in to Improve It. I am so happy you are along for the ride. If you enjoyed this show, head on over to iTunes to leave us a five-star review and subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. New episodes drop every Wednesday. Now, if you're really feeling today's show and you've improved it even just a little bit, please take a screenshot and tag me at Keeping It Real Deal on Instagram and share it in your stories. I'll see you next week, but I want to leave you with this thought. What did you improve today and how will that help your future successful self? Think about it. I am rooting for you and the world needs that special it that only you can bring. See you next time.